Now let's see this problem. In the circuit shown, power supplied by the voltage source is power supplied by the voltage source is. In this context, I have to tell you two things. One thing is current flowing through voltage source will be decided by the network connected. Network connected. For example, if I have a voltage source here, okay, so uh, source voltage V S, and here network is there. Network is there. For example, I have to find out current flowing through this source current okay how to find that okay so current okay iv let me write because if i say is you may feel it's a source current source no no okay source voltage is there and current flowing through voltage source if i would like to know how to calculate current flowing through voltage source is unknown volt for a voltage source voltage is known current will be decided by the network so in order to find the current flowing through a voltage source you have to apply kcl here and now the moment you apply kcl here here current taken by this network you will come to know automatically current shared by the voltage source you will come to know now for example at any point of time if anybody ask you voltage across current source okay so if any means this is going to be source current and here voltage is vi okay so means directly how much will be the voltage across current source we don't know because for a current source current is known but voltage is unknown so how to find voltage across current source you have to apply kvl okay so once you apply kvl automatically depending upon the network connected voltage rises voltage drops and all voltage across this automatically you will come to know then power delivered by this you will come to know or uh, in our uh, voltage source okay so in order to find out current flowing through a voltage source you have to apply kcl okay in the concern node in order to find voltage across a current source you have to apply kvl in the concerned mesh concerned mesh okay now with these basics let us see because here the moment they asked the moment they asked power delivered by this power delivered by this means that current flowing through this i should know how to find current flowing through voltage source i have to apply kcl here or kcl here okay so if i apply kcl here for example if i want to current if i want to know current flowing through this then if i apply kcl here this leaving current plus this leaving current equal to this entering current getting my point right so r if i want to know current flowing through this this current plus this current is going to be this current directly for a voltage source current cannot be known unless and until you apply kcl at the concerned node okay now let us try to see this problem okay now i'm supposed to find out something from the network analysis analysis okay so we have two things what are those mesh and nodal mesh and nodal now let us try to apply mesh analysis for example if i apply mesh analysis how many meshes will come one two three okay so out of three meshes out of three meshes i can say that two current sources are there okay so two super meshes will come so out of three means out of three equations two will become super mesh okay so only, only one time equation in the sense if i try to apply for example kvl i can go from here just a minute now i can go from here i can come back from here here it's a current source so current source is connected between first mesh and second mesh so let us jump to here and again it's a current source let us jump to here because the current source is connected between this and this and uh, complete this okay super mesh analysis we can say now only one mesh equation will come let us think of nodal nodal okay so if you apply nodal how many nodes are there here i need not consider node why one and one are connected in parallel sorry connected in series i need not consider that here one node will come second node will come this is reference node for example third node will come okay so one two three three nodes three nodal equations are required in that one if you think of already voltage source is connected with respect to reference node to non-reference node so here i need not apply kcl at all directly i can write 10 volts so two nodal equations we have to write one here and one here okay two nodal equations one mesh equation which is better obviously mesh is better obviously mesh is better okay now now in mesh in mesh in order to solve in a shortest way okay so see here for example in the circuit power supplied by the voltage source is for example source voltage is is yes okay means uh, source current 
given by the voltage source is I S. Now see here if you keenly observe, keenly observe here one ampere is coming, here two ampere is coming. If you apply KCL here, this is going to be three ampere. No? This is going to be three ampere. No? Now current coming here, current coming here because let me apply around it, around it such that in a very easy way we will be able to find the answer. Of course, definitely you can go ahead with super mesh, super mesh, super mesh analysis also to find not a problem because only one equation now means 3 ampere is coming is is coming so this is going to be is plus 3 okay so same is plus 3 will come here out of that one ampere is leaving from here okay so is plus 3 minus 1 is going to be is plus 2 is plus 2 now try to apply try to apply means mesh around this around this around this or kind of loop analysis people say because already you know what is mesh mesh in the sense it's a closed path inside which there should not be any other closed path is a mesh but if you think of loop here means inside closed paths are there or not yes it's a kind of loop analysis. but whatever it may be name doesn't matter for us okay so if i try to apply kvl of outer loop of outer loop minus 10 plus 1 into is plus 3 of course plus 1 into is plus 3 because these two are anyway connected in series after that 1 in 2 anyway, let me combine plus 2 into is plus 2 equal to 0 okay so minus i touched first minus 10 plus is plus 3 into 1 i touched plus here because of entry current plus is plus 3 into 1 plus is plus 2 into combinedly 2 equal to 0. Now let us calculate is. If you calculate is, is will become 0 amperes. 0 amperes. What does it mean? My source is floating source. Floating source we say from power systems point of view. Floating source in the sense that particular source will be connected in the network but it neither supply nor absorb power okay so similarly the source is connected in the network but it neither supply nor absorb any power okay in this way we can solve the problem